Okay, this session we're going to check. I picked up some in ultraviolet lamps. These are ultraviolet LEDs that are on Amazon for um, under 20 bucks. And I wanted to see how they performed. Now, these have two LEDs in them. It's got one at 395 to 400, and another one is 270 to 280 nanometers. That's the ultraviolet one. They they say that they put the they put the 395 to 400 so that uh, you could tell easily where it was aimed because you can't see the ultraviolet. All right, now now here is. The setup. All right, we've got spectrometer, and uh, it's it's just a box that's about oh half the size of a shoe box, sorta. Okay, uh, this is the input, the uh, light input. Got a couple connections here for the uh, for the sink and the signal, and the same sig same thing in the back. I've got the scope hooked to the back terminals. They're just hooked up in parallel so that um, you don't need wires coming out the front here when you're doing experiments. This is the input right here. It's, um, for all my experiments, I use a one inch diameter uh, nose on things. Here's a light source and uh, it, it just has a uh, one inch diameter um, uh, connector on it. And by doing that, you can have all of them interchangeable. See, I've got, here's another spectroscope right here. And you can just take anything that I have, and it's all interchangeable. By having a one-inch uh, standard dimension, um, you, you have plenty of room on the inside for signal, and yet um, you can make uh, adapters for everything. And by having them interchangeable like that, it's, it's a lot easier than trying to fiddle around with uh, flanges and stuff. Okay, now, this is the... This is the unit that comes from um, Amazon. Ultraviolet LED, you can find this on Amazon and um, get it. And it's... Uh, All right, you can see there. I don't think they show this on the on the uh, website. Okay, okay, and it has uh, these three these three adjustments on here make it to where you can center it perfectly. And um, this this is an adapter that I made just for general experimentation. But I have now the basic sensitivity of the spectrometer. Um, makes it to where full signal, the, the maximum output is um, okay okay, it's about 1.45 volts for that peak and that's, you know, past that it starts saturating you can see it's saturating. Okay, so when we just adjust it to that point with 1.3 volts. Okay, this is the 395, 400 um, peak out of the out of the uh, LED, and this one here is the um, 270 to 280. Okay, now I've got another unit here. Okay, this one here is a, a lamp type uh, mercury ultraviolet uh, lamp and um, due to my brilliant uh, extreme brilliancy <laughs> I made the damn thing more than an inch so it doesn't it doesn't fit into the adapter so 
oh well, you know, you win some, you lose some. I'll, I'll remachine it. I'll, I'll fix it. it. It would easily fit into a one inch. It's, it's 1.1 inches, so it's, only, it's about the thickness of that aluminum down, so I can make a, a smaller lamp housing. What it was is this was a piece of aluminum tubing that was available. It was in the junk box out there, and I just used it. And I didn't think about, hey, you better make it you know, fit in all the rest of your optical stuff. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's turn it on. Now, when this one is operating, you can see it's got that characteristic um, blue glow in there, the mercury vapor glow. Okay, now, okay. Now that's 254 nanometers. That's the mercury line. Now the rest of the, the uh, visible lines in that lamp are very subdued. You know, it looks like at least a 10 to 1 ratio. 